Now at 5.30, a storm watch weather alert and this is going to be a big one. Right now, a blizzard warning is up for most of the area. Some spots will see a foot or more of snow and 50 mile per hour winds. Flooding and power outages are a strong possibility. Good evening, everybody. I'm Paula Evan. I'm Liam Martin. Most schools are already closed tomorrow. We're scrolling that information right now on the bottom of your screen. Chief Meteorologist Eric Fisher is here with the information that you need to know. And Eric, this is going to be a big one. It'll be a pretty significant storm for us. No question about it. This one bringing all the elements. We haven't had one of those storms so far this year. The wind, the coastal flooding, the snowfall, and blizzard conditions potentially. We have those blizzard warnings up along the coastline. Winter storm warnings elsewhere, and they'll be in place throughout the day tomorrow and into tomorrow evening. So here's our storm right now developing off the southeast coast. Some snow all the way down to the beaches of South and North Carolina really ramps up as it moves off the mid-Atlantic early tomorrow morning. Our snow really starts to pick up around 7 a.m. So if you want to get out early, early, early before sunrise. That will be the best opportunity before travel becomes much more hazardous. Heavy snowfall from mid-morning through mid-afternoon. Then that storm will race off to the north and east. Things winding down in the evening and then it's all about the wind and the cold as it moves up into Atlantic Canada as we head into tomorrow night. So will we see blizzard conditions? That's sustained winds or frequent gusts over 35 miles per hour for at least three hours with considerable falling or blowing snow and visibility a quarter mile or less for three straight hours. That looks to be a pretty good likelihood, especially around midday tomorrow. So most of us see 8 to 12 inches of snow, a chance for some foot or higher totals, Boston area down through province. This is the most likely spot to see some banding. We always get some locally higher totals when those bands form. And then lower mounts toward the Cape. We'll be battling that rain snow line for a good part of the storm system. You'll also get a wetter snow type there. So all things to consider with this particular storm. And overall, I think that this is going to be the wind that ends up being a big issue. And the big story there is the fact that the wind is going to ramp up because it's an unusual drop in pressure that we're going to see with this particular system. Well, and this is the word that we hear over and over associated with the storm. Fun to say, bombogenesis, but what does it mean? All right, so what bombogenesis actually is, it's something we talk about every single year. Not everyone's a weather geek like us. They're not paying attention to these words, but what it means is a rapid drop in pressure. Now, this storm started out this afternoon around 2 o'clock. Its pressure was at 1,004 millibars. That's a pretty weak area of low pressure due east of Orlando. But in just 24 hours till 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, look at those isobars, those lines. They get tighter. Those are lines of equal pressure. So the pressure drops all the way to 955. And so this is going to drop 49 millibars or so in 24 hours. That's really unusually fast. Does it mean anything for a person on the ground? Yes, because as the pressure drops, the wind has to come up. The tighter those lines you see there, as pressure changes rapidly over a distance, that has everything to do with our wind, which is the biggest part of the storm. So see, you can pull that out tomorrow when you're in the wind. You can say, it's just that Bombo Genesis. You know what? It's always on everyone's winter bingo card. All right, we are in for it. Eric Fisher, thanks. Liam?